Did you know that ongoing high blood sugar can lead to a more serious issue called glucotoxicity? This condition can happen when you have long-term elevated blood sugar. Hi, my name is Jennifer Dunn. If you don't know me already, I'm a holistic nutritionist and certified health and wellness coach. My mission is to help women balance their blood sugar naturally without giving up their favorite foods so they can prevent or reverse diabetes and lose weight. If that sounds good to you, I would love if you would subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will know when I post a new video. Like I stated earlier, chronic high blood sugar can lead to a condition referred to as glucotoxicity. This condition is caused by damaged beta cells. Beta cells help your body create and release insulin. Insulin is a hormone that pulls sugar out of your blood so your cells can use it as energy. This process is what helps regulate your blood sugar levels. So if your beta cells get damaged, it can lead to both a decrease in insulin production and an increase in your body's resistance to insulin, which leads to glucotoxicity. Basically, if insulin can't get to your blood to clean up the sugar, you become glucose toxic. Let me know in the comments if you have ever heard of this condition before. Now let's talk about the symptoms of glucotoxicity to watch out for. Ongoing high blood sugar can cause damage to organs and tissues and weaken your immune system. When the body's tissues and organs get damaged, your immune system has to work that much harder to keep your systems functioning. This means that your immune system is weaker because of how hard it already has to work. Therefore, having a weakened immune system puts you at a greater risk for getting infections and makes it harder for wounds to heal. So if you notice that you get sick often, it's hard for your body to recover from illness, or your bumps and bruises take forever to heal, you most likely have a weak immune system. Some other common symptoms of high blood sugar are excessive thirst, frequent urination, blurred vision, fatigue, headache, dry mouth, and confusion. If you notice any of these signs and symptoms, I recommend you start testing your blood sugar daily with an at-home glucose monitor or getting a hemoglobin A1C test done at your doctor's office or a lab. If you are interested in an affordable at-home glucose monitor, I will have a good one linked in the description box. If your fasting blood sugar level is regularly over 126 milligrams per deciliter, or you have an A1C over 6.5, you're at greater risk for developing glucotoxicity. Researchers believe that glucose toxicity is caused from oxidative stress. This means you have too many free radicals in the body and not enough antioxidants to fight them off. This can damage beta cells and lead to glucotoxicity. They link the causes of oxidative stress to poor diet, a sedentary lifestyle, and stress. So the best way to treat or prevent glucotoxicity is to lower your blood sugar. This can be done naturally by eating a mostly whole food diet, reducing your carb intake, getting in movement that gets your heart pumping throughout the day, and managing your stress. I have videos where I go into depth on each of these subjects on my channel if you want to learn more about how to incorporate these suggestions into your routine. I will link those down below as well. And if high blood sugar is left untreated for too long, it can lead to complications like kidney problems, cardiovascular disease, nerve problems, eye problems, cell dysfunction, and tissue problems. The bottom line is our modern lifestyle has made us more susceptible to conditions like high blood sugar and glucotoxicity. But there is so much we can do to prevent these conditions from happening. 
I think the biggest piece of advice I can give is to not give in to modern lifestyle habits, like eating processed foods on a regular basis, sitting all day, and letting stress rule our life. Just because everyone else is doing these things doesn't make it okay or healthy. We have to make a conscious effort to prevent these conditions, and you don't have to change everything all at once. Start with changing one habit, then another, and then another. Small changes stacked on each other can add up to huge health benefits. Well guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was. And don't forget to hit the like button and share this with someone you love. Have a great day and I will see you next week.